The continued wave of death-dealing explosions struck yesterday at Area Defense Headquarters. As in previous occasions, the authorities are unable to detect the cause of these blasts, which have done untold damage. Who could possibly be doing this? Well, there are several theories, Joan. But so far, no one is even sure what kind of explosives are being used or how they're set off. Maybe Mr. Henderson will have some information for us when he gets in from Washington. That guy Henderson wouldn't tell you what time it is. Just what is his job, anyway? He won't tell you that either, Ted, but it's a big one. He only answers to a few people in this country of ours. I think that... Hello, Mr. Henderson. Hello, Commander Cody. Ted, Miss Gilbert, how are you getting along with the rocket ship? As well as can be expected, sir. Our tests with the model are satisfactory. If the government will let us make a few test flights with the rocket... It's out of the question. This whole project's strictly top secret. Since you people developed the rocket ship for us, and we'll be the ones operating it, it has been decided that you should know more of our plans. I've been authorized to tell you this much. Its primary use will be to combat this wave of sabotage and destruction of our defense system. You mean the government knows what's causing it? Not definitely, but tests of the wreckage show that the explosions are of atomic origin. You mean someone's dropping atomic bombs on us? Not bombs. No planes have been observed, and the explosions aren't severe enough. No, from what I've learned of the nature of the blast, they seem more like an atomic ray of some kind. But of course, that's just a guess. It's the same guess that we've made, because it's the only possible answer. But no one has ever been able to make an atomic ray machine. You mean no one on Earth ever has. Say, this rocket we're building will be able to fly to the moon. Maybe someone up there has built one that could get down here. We believe that possible. And for some time, our astronomers have been noticing an unusual amount of atomic activity on the moon. Atomic activity on the moon. Atomic blasts on the Earth. The two known facts fit together. Yes, it adds up. So that's why you want us to fly to the moon? Yes. And when you get to the moon, find out if these attacks are actually coming from there. And try to devise some plan for stopping them. In the meantime, we'll do what we can with these attacks here. Is your flying suit still working? Yes. We may ask you to use it. If a ray gun is being used to cause these blasts, it's probably being operated from the ground. And if you could get to the scene of the attack soon enough, you might be able to find some clue to the attackers. I'll be glad to try. Good. We'll phone you as soon as we have any information about another attack. All right, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. did it. Let's get over to Kern Pass. That troop train will be along soon. All right. I'll get out there right away. So give me a hand with the flying suit, Ted. The train load of army supplies was just blasted out in the west end of the valley. A rancher reported he saw a truck parked on a hill overlooking the tracks. With two men in it working some kind of a gun. They pulled out right after the wreck and headed toward Kern Hills. Henderson's office gave me a description of the truck, so I'm going out to look for it. I suppose you'll be wanting this. Yes. I may need it. time now. Okay, get set.
Let's get out of here. And leave the ray gun? What else can we do? The loss of the ray gun is not too serious. I brought sufficient equipment from the moon to build several of them. But I do not care to have the Earth people learn the secrets of our weapons. From the description you gave me of your attacker's costume, it must have been Commando Cody in his flying suit. He will probably take our ray gun to his laboratory for examination. So you must go there at once and recover the atomic chamber from the ray gun. That's a large order, Krog. We hired out to work your ray gun. This business of You were hired to do anything that I may consider necessary to pave the way for our invasion from the moon. You're being well paid for your work, so do as you're ordered. Okay. Is working on this gun going to hold up finishing the rocket ship? No. I'll just give it a quick examination and then turn it over to the authorities. We'll still be able to take off for the moon next Wednesday. Take it easy and you won't get hurt. Move back. There's the unit we want. Grab it. A rocket ship is leaving here in five days to investigate our moon. I did not believe the Earthmen possessed a ship capable of making the journey. I just learned about it myself, but I'm sure my information is correct. Very well, it is not too serious. We will be prepared to take care of the visitors when they arrive. This is no trip for a woman. Now, don't start that again. You'll be very glad to have someone along who can cook your meals. I'll say we will. Don't give her any more arguments. Okay. I like to eat, too. Well, boys, that's it. Well, the best of luck to all of you, sir. Hope this thing works all right. So do we. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Hello, Hank. All set? All warmed up. We can take off right now. That is, if the ship will stand up to the test we made with the model. I think it will. Now, let's go. Safety 
safety belts fastened? Fire pilot jets? Fire main jets? We are. A lot of miles per minute. She's living up to the test we made. Set a course for the moon. Right. Take over here, will you, Ted? about here. Looks like we're on the right track. We ought to be down in another two hours. There's a city just ahead. Where do we sit down? Let's take her back in those hills where we can find a place to hide the ship. Then I'll fly over the city in the rocket suit. Okay. Set her down in that canyon. Okay. Earth man, enter the first door you come to. Turn the control. The door will open. Commando Cody. I am Retic, ruler of the moon. Apparently you are expecting me. Of course. For many years our radio has kept us informed of events on Earth. And my men there have advised me of your every move. I see you have adopted our language. Yes. All our people are required to speak English, so we can operate more efficiently in your country. Do you mind telling me why your men are carrying out that campaign of destruction on Earth? Not at all. They are merely softening up your defenses for our impending invasion. Why do you want to invade the Earth? 
Because the atmosphere on the moon has become so thin and dry, it is impossible for us to raise food, except in pressurized greenhouses. And none of us can move outside without helmets. So we are planning a mass migration to your world. You'll find that conquering the Earth isn't so simple. Ah, but it will be. Because of our atomic weapons. On the moon, we have an element, lunarium, which is far superior to uranium as a base for atomic reactions. And we can completely control the force of these reactions, enabling us to build atomic weapons ranging from huge cannon to these small ray pistols. It's very considerate of you to give me all this information. You deserve some reward for your long journey, but unfortunately, I cannot permit you to return to Earth with it. Maybe I have something to say about that. <laughs> so much for the effectiveness of your weapons. Now I will demonstrate one of ours.
So Reddick plans to invade the Earth with his army from the moon. As soon as the saboteurs, he already has their finished softening up our defenses. Do you think he'll be able to do it? I'm afraid he might. I don't know how many men or rocket ships he has, but his atomic weapons are so far ahead of anything we have, he wouldn't need a very big army. What did you find out about the ray guns? Only that they use an element called lunarium instead of uranium as the base for their atomic reactions. They apparently can control the reaction, so they will work either as a disintegrating ray or as an explosion like our atomic bomb. Well, if their weapons are that powerful, it would be impossible for our people to attack them here, even if we had rockets enough to transport an army. That's right. Apparently, they let us land because they weren't afraid of a single ship, but they would undoubtedly blast out an invading fleet. Then hadn't we better go back right away and warn our people? Our orders were to find out if the attacks were coming from here, and if so, to try to figure out some way to stop them. Those are large orders. All we have is a light machine gun and some hand grenades. They wouldn't do much to that walled city. No. But there was one of their ray guns in Reddick's laboratory. If I could get hold of that, it would be easy to blast open their pressurized buildings and really put them out of business. All you've got to do is get the gun. That may not be too tough. We brought some nitrous oxide with us, didn't we? Mm, yes, there's a small tank of it. I'll find the air intake that leads to Reddick's laboratory and turn the gas into it. That ought to put them to sleep long enough to let me get away with the ray gun. If it's like the gun you found on Earth, it'll be too heavy to carry, let alone fly with. That's right. But the tripod isn't important. I'll dismantle the gun from the tripod. I think I can handle a gun all right. Maybe you can, but it'll be quite a load. I better get a helmet and go with you. Hank and Joan can stay here and guard the ship. Okay. I may need some help with that. I'll fly on in and get the gun. I'll manage to lug it back this far myself. With the whole town chasing you? I don't think they can get around outside very well. But we'll find out. wrong with the ventilating system. Get the oxygen.
send a car out to search for him. Yet. Give me a hand with this. We've got to move fast. He must have come this way. He couldn't have got by the guards at the canyon bridge. No, and he won't move very fast carrying that gun. Give them a blast. What do we do now? Let's try to keep going. Maybe we can dodge around those rocks and lose them. constant heat. We'll melt the cliff and bury them alive. Right.
grenade. He must have gotten out. Let's move out of here. Does it, Ted? Let's get back to the rocket ship. Too bad you lost that ray gun. You'll have a tough time getting another one now. We haven't a chance of getting one. And we couldn't possibly attack their city with any of our weapons. That isn't the worst of it. They've already tracked us halfway to this ship, so they know about where we are. It's only a question of time until they find us. One blast from that ray gun will pop this ship like a toy balloon. Maybe we'd better get back to Earth. I think so. We've accomplished the most important part of our mission. We discover that Reddick has planned to lead an invasion from the moon as soon as the saboteurs finish softening up our defenses. And it's up to us to get that information back to Earth. How soon can we take off? Well, I've got to build up the pressure in all the tanks and warm up the jets. Maybe a couple hours. Then get started. I'll fly out and scout around until you're ready. Earthman's rocket ship, Your Excellency. It's in a canyon, only about a mile west where our scout car was attacked. Splendid. I'll send another car out after it at once. Stay there and keep watch. Yes, sir. before we can take off. One of those tanks is headed this way. How about it, Hank? I won't guarantee the results, but we can try. Here goes, all jets. Looks like we may make it. If we get out of range of that ray gun in time. serious. Okay, Hank. You can start for the Earth now. Make a 180 degree turn. Right, Commando. Homeward bound. Very well. The 
patrol car reported that the spaceship has escaped. That ship must not be allowed to land on Earth. Ready to crowd. Ready to crowd. Come in, Reddick. Commando Cody's rocket ship has escaped and is headed back to Earth. He has all the information about our planned invasion and must not be allowed to tell it to the authorities. Will you have a ray gun completed by the time he lands? I'm afraid that is impossible, Your Excellency. And use a bomb or any other weapon available. That ship must be destroyed before anyone can get out of it. Yes, Your Excellency. You heard the orders? Yeah, but it might not be that easy. There may be guards at the landing field. Nevertheless, you will carry out instructions. I will furnish you with a bomb. You can devise some means for placing it under the ship the moment it lands. How do we know when they'll get here? I'll pick up their approach on my radar, so you can be in position when they land. to blast him, then plant the bomb before anyone can get out of the ship. Here she comes. Going in for a landing. Calling landing field. Calling landing field. Landing field to rocket, come in. We're coming down. Is the field clear? Yes, sir. We're all ready for you. All right, Hank. Make your 180 degree turn. You take the one on the right.
know the people on the moon are planning a direct attack on the world as soon as their saboteurs have softened up our defenses. What do you think their chances are of succeeding? You've seen what the ray guns have already done here. If they send out a fleet of rocket ships armed with atomic weapons like those, or perhaps even larger ones, it would be difficult to hold out against them. Perhaps our best move would be to attempt an attack on the moon. We'd be at a terrific disadvantage. I don't even see how we could land ships there in face of their ray guns. We just can't sit here and wait to be attacked. No, of course not. Reddick the ruler told me they plan to attack after their saboteurs here have accomplished their mission. If we could round up the gang operating here, we may stave off the attack until we are better prepared to meet it. Yes, that's certainly the first thing to do. You know some of the saboteurs, don't you? Yes, well, that is by sight. And my flying suit gives me a considerable advantage in running them down. Right. I'll have you notified whenever there's another attack. In the meantime, we'll put every available man on this case. Goodbye, Cody. Goodbye, sir. I'll have this ray gun finished in a short time now. So you'd better arrange to get another truck to mount it in. Okay, but I'll need some more money. You'll have to sell some more of those jewels you brought down from the moon. I have only a few of them left, and I must keep those for an emergency. It will be necessary for you to take up your career of bank robbery. Not me. I'm already on parole for that. I know. But you would be wise to continue to obey my orders. Your more recent activities would be of extreme interest to the authorities. Need someone to help you? Yeah, but they'll have to do the dirty work. Of course, I'll go along to check on them. Very well, make your arrangements at once. Select a bank which is located in a not too heavily patrolled area. Something went wrong. have more money. You've got to get it somehow. Not by any more bank jobs. I'm too hot in that business now. I'll have to figure out something else. I'll radio the moon. Perhaps Reddy can advise us. Krog calling Reddy. Reddick. Krog calling Reddick. Come in, Krog. I have to report that our scheme for obtaining money was a failure, Your Excellency. Can you suggest some plan that might be more successful? I think I can. From what I hear of activities on Earth, kidnapping important persons and holding them for ransom has proved highly profitable. Commando Cody, who flew his rocket ship to the moon, is very valuable to the defense organization of his country. I suggest you select him. An excellent idea. We shall carry it out at once. It'll be a rough deal, but a lot safer than robbing another bank. Of course. Commando Cody should be worth at least $100,000. Shall we bring him here? No. Hire a plane and take him to... Where 
Where's Cody? Right over there. Tell us where Cody is? I don't know. Why don't we grab her and use her to trap Cody? That's an idea. On your way, sister. Wait a minute. Same two men who wrecked the ray gun. They came after you. Where's Joan? I don't know. Maybe they took her with them. Two men and a woman drove away from here just as I came in. They were too far away to be recognized, but it must have been them. Police headquarters. I'll tell him. The police found out that the car went to the east side airport and a man took off with Joan in a chartered plane. They left just a few minutes ago. If I'm lucky, I can catch them.
that parachute. must have landed somewhere near here. If you're sure you're all right, I'll look for him. Oh, of course I am. I'll walk over to the road. Okay. to town, mister. Oh, sure. Hop in. must report to the moon. Rob calling Reddick. Rob calling Reddick. Rob calling Reddick. Come in, Krog. I have to report another failure, Your Excellency. We were unable to capture Commando Cody and hold him for ransom. And you still have no funds? No, sir. And until we can get a ray gun into action again, we are unable to continue our campaign against Earth's defenses. Listen carefully, Croc. I cannot have my preparations for invading the Earth delayed by such a minor detail as obtaining a small amount of money. If the men you now have cannot accomplish this simple mission, then hire someone who can produce results. This is an order. I understand, Your Excellency. Heard. It's up to you to decide whether you can still be useful to us or... We'll figure something out. Remember that payroll job Duke was trying to get you in on? Maybe he'll still go through with it. Well? It's risky, but it might work. It's the Western Wholesale Supply Company. They keep their payroll in the office safe every Friday night. There's a man in the office who knows the combination. It's a cop. Get going.
took the turn to the right. Finally got a break. They called me down to the jail hospital to see if I could identify a prisoner. And he turned out to be one of those two who've been making all the trouble for us. Well, how did they catch him? Well, he and another man staged a payroll robbery. The police went after them and the car crashed. The other man was killed, but our pal was only banged up a little. What did you find out about him? His name's Graber. He's an ex-convict out on parole from the bank robbery sentence. Well, what about his connection with the invaders from the moon? I haven't had a chance to find out yet. There were too many people around the jail hospital, so Henderson asked me not to question him there. We might be overheard. But aren't they going to try to find out something? Yes. They're going to move him under guard to a private sanitarium, where we can question him without any danger of the story leaking out and throwing the whole country into a panic. When'll that be? Probably this afternoon. Henderson is going to let me know as soon as they make arrangements for having him transferred. I'd like you to go with me, Ted. Sure. I got some news about Graber. A friend of mine's a trustee in the jail hospital, and he tipped me off they're moving Graber out in an ambulance this afternoon. Is there anything we can do about it? Yeah, I got it all figured out. Now, my friend told me which road the ambulance is taking, and I'll... Start walking. Cross country. Go on! What about the driver? I sent him hiking. You should have slugged him. As soon as he gets to a phone, he'll have the cops on our trail. Uh, it's okay. There's a car parked a few miles up the road to pick you up. Okay, let's go. you got here, the cops are after you already. What? Yeah, it's coming over the radio right now. Calling all cars, calling all cars. The stolen ambulance was last reported turning on to the east end of Harrison Canyon Highway. I told you you should have slugged that driver. Calling police headquarters. Calling police headquarters. It's Cody. Police headquarters, come in. This is Commando Cody. I picked up your broadcast, and I'm just turning into the west end of Harrison Canyon now. If I meet the ambulance, I'll stop it for you. We'll get some men up there as soon as we can. That's a bad break. What's he doing out here? Probably on his way to third degree me. I'll go back to town with you, Sam. You keep going with the ambulance until you can ditch it. If you meet Cody first, smash him. Right. We'll 
meet them on the road? We've got a good chance to. on the road? We've got a good chance to. Calling Krog. Reddick calling Krog. Yes, Your Excellency. I was just about to call you to report that we are about to put our ray gun into operation again. I have another mission for you first. Do you have an atomic bomb strong enough to start a volcanic eruption in the Mount Alta crater? Yes, but an eruption in that mountainous area would do very little damage. On the contrary, it will do a great deal of damage. The present atmospheric conditions on Earth indicate that the eruption would cause torrential rains, and the resulting flood should seriously disrupt transportation and defense measures. An excellent idea. We shall carry it out at once. Very well. Then start an intensified campaign with the ray gun. Earth's defenses must be completely broken down before we can risk an invasion from the moon. Yes, Your Excellency. You heard the orders? Charter a plane and drop one of our atomic bombs into the Alta Crater. Nature will do the rest. Okay. When do we do it? At once. I will get you the bomb.
the moon men did start that eruption, they certainly got results. Well, somebody must have started it. That volcano's been dead for years. Took quite a blast to get it going again. An atomic bomb dropped from a plane would seem to be the only answer. You know, Commando Cody thinks that maybe... How'd you make out? I think we're on the right track. The second airport I checked had chartered the plane on the day of the eruption to two men, answering the description of Graeber and his pal. Then we're right. They're the ones who bombed the volcano. Looks like it. Yes, but that doesn't help us catch them. Couldn't you get a line on them? The names and addresses they gave were phony, but I did get one break. The airport manager borrowed these matches from Graeber and forgot to give them back. Al's Cafe. That might do us some good. It at least means they've been there. And if we're lucky, they might be regular customers. So let's go and look to join over. Right. If we hear anything, Joan, we'll give you a call. Yeah, I know the guys you mean. They come in here pretty often, but I don't know their names or anything about them. Well, if they show up, I wish you'd call me. Oh, sure. I sure will, Mr. Cody. Thanks. Cops try to follow us, I'll give it to him quick. your pal, Mr. Cody. You're gonna call the cops? I don't dare to. They'd kill him, sure. find him down there. You're right. As soon as he can get to a phone, he'll have the cops on our trail. The road to Clark Mountain is just up ahead. We'll hide out there until Krog can send us another car. Calling Krog. Calling Krog. Come in, Graber. We just had a run-in with Cody again. Our car is hot. We'll have to have another one. Where are you? We're heading up to Clark Mountain. We'll stop before we get to the top and wait there. Very well, I'll have another car out there as soon as possible. What do you think they'll do to him? Oh, it's hard to tell. They'll certainly hold him until they fix... Cody Laboratory. Ted, where are you? in a gas station on Highway 17. I jumped out of the car and gave them the slip. Good work. Now we can go after them. Where are they heading? They were going up the Clark Mountain Road. I'll use the rocket suit and try to find them. OK, don't worry about me. I I'll come a ride back to town. Phone the police and tell them to block the highway on the other side of the mountain. Right. Police headquarters. 
Can't get here for a while yet. Cody gets here, give yourself up. Try not to get too close to him. But look, I... Don't argue. Do what I tell you. Don't move. Drop your gun. Where's Graber? Cody gets here, give yourself up. Try not to get too close to him. But look, I... Don't argue. Do what I tell you. Don't move. Drop your gun. 
your gun. Where's Graber? I got the flying suit under control just before I crashed. But I'd lost my gun. When I tried to look for Graber and his pal, they had disappeared. They must have taken off to the hills on foot. So where are we now? About back where we started. Except that we do know that Graber's been hanging out at Al's Cafe. They'll probably never show up there again. But I might find somebody around there who knows them. Anyway, I'm going to give it a try. I'll call you later. Sure, I've seen him around here and talked to him a few times, but I don't know anything about him. What did you talk to him about? Well, I'm a mechanic, and the last time they asked me to do some work on a truck motor for him, I couldn't handle the job. So, yesterday it was. I told him to try Benson's over on the south side of town, but I don't know whether they ever went over there or not. Mm-hmm. I'll check up on that. Do you know Benson's address? It's on Central between 14th and 15th, south side of the street. Mm-hmm. Good. Thanks. I'll let you know if they ever turn up here again, Mr. Cody. Good. See you later. Frog, calling Reddick. Frog, calling Reddick. We have the new ray gun ready to mount in a well camouflaged truck, Your Excellency, and are prepared to renew our campaign. Good. What are your first objectives? Since the authorities here learned of your planned invasion from the moon, there have been heavy troop movements in this area. We plan to concentrate on destroying troop trains. Very well. Work as fast as possible. We must have Earth's defenses completely disorganized before we start our invasion from the moon. Yes, Your Excellency. Everything ready? Yes. We can pick up the truck and get going. Here are the timetables. The map with the best points of attack indicated. Cover as many of them as you can today. Right. No, I don't remember anyone answering that description. But of course, we run a lot of jobs through here, and I don't know all the drivers. How about these trucks that are in here now? Well, this one and this one are a couple of my regular customers. That was a cross-country job. It came in last night for an ignition check. I didn't see who the driver was. The nightman took care of it. Okay, if I look it over? Sure, go ahead. Get away from that truck. Hey, what's going on? Frisk him. Stay out of this or you'll get hurt. Now, look, I don't want any trouble in here.
That truckload of radios was a phony. That whole back end was a fake door. I'm sure they're planning on hiding something inside. Probably a ray gun. That's what I'm afraid of. They'll probably start blasting again any time now. I've sent Ted out to the airport to stand by in a plane with some light bombs. As soon as we hear of any ray gun attacks, I'll fly out and try to locate that truck, then radio Ted to bomb it. Cody Laboratory. All right, we'll be right out. They just blasted a troop train in the east end of Carson Valley. Radio Ted to take off on our plane at once and fly around out there. I'll contact him as soon as I spot the truck. Right away. Calling Ted Richards. Calling Ted Richards. Looks like they're aiming a gun at us. Dive 
drive on him, quick! Okay. Hurry it up! He's diving on us again! You missed! Aim too quick. Turn the truck around. I got another shot at it. Right! Quick, turn the truck around. I get another shot at it. Right. They're getting set for another shot at us. Get going. It's going to be a serious problem organizing any system of defense against those ray guns. It's practically impossible unless we build ray guns of our own. We can't do that without linarium as a base for the atom reaction. That's right. So if it beats with your approval, I'll make another trip to the moon and try to get a supply of lunarium. Do you think you can do it? I'm not sure, but it's worth trying. Anything is better than sitting here like tin ducks in a shooting gallery. I heartily agree. And if you're willing to make the attempt, you can certainly have permission. How soon can you start? Right away. The rocket ship is all fueled and ready. Joan, phone Hank and tell him to get the jets warmed up. We leave right away. Now, I want to get started before there's any chance of the news leaking out so Reddick won't be laying for us when we get there. Well, boys, that's it. Hope this trip is as easy as your last one. Thanks. It should be. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Hiya, folks. Here we go again. Hello, Hank. All set? Any time now.
Safety belts fastened. Fire pilot jets. Fire main jets. about here. We ought to be down in another two hours. I can see the city now. We don't want to get too close, so swing west, Hank, and head for that same canyon. Okay. Almost to the canyon now. Okay, I'll take her down. All right, set her down. You don't want me to go along? No, not this time. This is just a scouting trip to try to find where they keep the little Mary. How do you expect to do that? Well, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to capture one of the moon men and get some information out of him. Sure, you'll pass all right if that joker told the truth. Uh, he wasn't in any position to lie very well. No, I was just lucky I picked up one of the men who guard the Lunarium. If we're going to get there in time for you to take his place, we better hurry. It's a little after nine. I'll go right in. You find a place to hide and watch for me to come out. Okay. About time you got here. I was delayed.
this. It's so heavy, it's going to take us a week to lug it back to the ship. Get out of sight, quick! Somebody stole my car. Send another one quickly. How's the fuel pressure? Seems okay. Pressure line. We're stuck. I'll say we are. Pressure's down to nothing. I can fix this if I have time. Fly out and try to stop them with your grenades. Okay. He's not behind a rock, but I think I can blast him.
bunch of rocks ahead that'll give us some shelter. He's heading for some rocks. We'll have to stop. That's our feed pressure line. We're stuck. I'll say we are. Pressure's down to nothing. I could fix this if I have time. Fly out and try to stop them with your grenades. Okay. Stop behind a rock. But I think I can blast them. after him with our ray pistols. Feel better? Yes. Did you stop them? For a little while, but I don't know for how long. You better go out and see what's happening while I try to fix that feed pressure line. Okay. Hank and put this aboard and get set for a takeoff as fast as you can. I'll ditch this car. Right. Okay, we're ready. Right. Aren't you going to let me go before you leave? No, we're taking you with us. And you better go back to your quarters until we get started. Get going! Safety belts fastened. Fire pilot jets.
What'll I do with him, Hank? It's just like a burial at sea, Joan. Only his body will float around in space forever. Everything okay, Hank? She's under control now. Good. Make a 180 degree turn and head for home. Okay. Ready calling Krog. Ready calling Krog. Ready calling Krog. This is Krog, Your Excellency. The rocket ship from Earth has been here again and escaped with a supply of lunarium. That's serious. Now they can build their own ray guns and prevent your invasion from the moon. Of course. So their ship must not be allowed to land. Calculate the time of their arrival and have your ray gun set up ready to blast them. This time you must not fail. Your own life and the future of our people are at stake. I understand, Your Excellency. You heard the orders? There must be no bungling this time. I will draw up a detailed plan of operations. to be able to pick up the good old Earth on the scanning screen pretty quick. Here it comes, right when Krog figured. Wayla turns in for a landing. Okay. All right, Hank. Make your 180 degree turn. Going in for a landing. Any time now. That was a ray gun blast. Take her up again, quick. Too soon, wasn't close enough. Keep going up. We've got to stay out of range. Okay, but then what? We're almost out of fuel. Got to set her down sometime. It's probably Graver and Daly in that truck with the Rago. I'll try to stop. <laughs> Climbing. Now what? 
You gotta get Cody first. Give a blast. I can't get at him behind that rock. Then hit the cliff above him and bring it down on him. Tell. But we missed the rocket. It's already landed on the other side of the hill. Maybe we can blast them before they get a chance to unload. Oh, there'll be too many guards there, and we might lose the ray gun. We'd better pull out of here. This is serious, and Cody did escape. I heard the announcement over the radio. I must report to the moon. Rob, calling Reddick. Rob, calling Reddick. Rob, calling Reddick. Come in, Krog. I have very bad news, Your Excellency. Commando Cody has upset our plans for destroying the rocket ship, and the Lunarium has been landed. This is intolerable. If the Earth people use that Lunarium to build ray guns, they will be able to repel our invasion. I realize that, but I did my best. Your best is not good enough. I'm going to fly down to Earth at once and take charge of operations myself. I will welcome your help. Apparently, you need it. In the meantime, have your men go after Commando Cody and any other key personnel they can reach. We must delay the completion of any ray guns on Earth until my invasion fleet is ready. Yes, Your Excellency. Cody and his assistants must be destroyed. The Lunarium arrives safely at the Government Atomic Laboratory, and they've already started converting it into a compound suitable for use in the ray gun. How long will that take? Some time, I'm afraid. The element's entirely new to our scientists, and they'll have to build considerable equipment to handle it. Well, I hope they can get it ready before the moon men attack. Do you have any idea when the invasion may be expected? No. The moon ruler told me himself he was planning the attack, but he didn't say when. The time element is vital. Let's go over in detail what happened on your trip to the moon, and perhaps we can find some clue to when they plan to strike. All right. Well, our passage through space was uneventful. The rocket ship functioned perfectly. When we reached the moon, I decided to go on a scouting trip. Welcome, Commando Cody. I am Retic, ruler of the moon. Apparently, you are expecting me. Of course. For many years, our radio has kept us informed of events on Earth. And my men there have advised me of your every move. I see you have adopted our language. Yes. All our people are required to speak English, so we can operate more efficiently in your country. Do you mind telling me why your men are carrying out that campaign of destruction on Earth? Not at all. They are merely softening up your defenses for our impending invasion. Why do you want to invade the Earth? Because the atmosphere on the moon has become so thin and dry, it is impossible for us to raise food, except in pressurized greenhouses. And none of us can move outside without helmets. So we are planning a mass migration to your world. You will find that conquering the Earth isn't so simple. Ah, but it will be. Because of our atomic weapons. On the moon, we have an element, lunarium, which is far superior to uranium as a base for atomic reactions. And we can completely control the force of these reactions, enabling us to build atomic weapons ranging from huge cannon to these small ray pistols.
It's very considerate of you to give me all this information. You deserve some reward for your long journey, but unfortunately, I cannot permit you to return to Earth with it. Maybe I have something to say about that. So much for the effectiveness of your weapons. Now I will demonstrate one of ours. we would need a ray gun if we were to attack the city. So the next day, Ted and I went back and turned nitrous oxide into their ventilating system. When Reddick and his guard became unconscious, Ted waited while I went in and got a ray gun. But before we could... They're still after us. Let's go. That looks like a cave. Let's get in there. We can't follow them in there. Set the ray gun at constant heat. We'll melt the cliff and bury them alive. Right. for a few shots without another charge of the Lunarium. And now that we have the Lunarium, we can build our own ray guns and pistols. Yes. We brought back one of their ray pistols. It looks fairly simple. Yes. Would you like me to take it apart to show you how it works? Please. Take for the air conditioning system. Put the hose in and turn the gas on. It's 
find a spot where we can watch the window in case anyone tries to get out. We must start manufacturing these weapons at once. Wouldn't it be better to save the Lunarium for bigger guns? They're what we'll need to stop an invasion by our rocket ships. Excuse me, but isn't it getting awfully stuffy in here? I'll open a window. We can't yet. That finished him. Let's get out of here. I'm all right now. He seems to be coming around, all right? Somebody took a shot at me from outside. I'm going to go look for them. You better stay here with him. It's Graver and Daly. 
Come on. I'll drive. Okay. Oh, my car. I've got to get to a phone to report it. There's a car following us. Keep rolling. You'll have to get closer. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. A black sedan has been stolen from in front of Cody Laboratory. Last seen going north. Get after him. Cody must have taken the cop's car. I hope they take after him instead of us. We've got some help. There's some motor cops right behind us. Once the cops are on our side, all we have to do is stay ahead of Cody a little longer. Officer, I'm Commando Cody. These men tried to murder us in my laboratory. Yeah, well, all I know is that you stole the police car. So I'm taking the whole bunch of you down to the station. Go on, get in the car. All of you. Certainly, officer. It's a good idea. You must have done some fast talking to get out of that. No. As soon as I convinced them who I was, everything was all right. Did you find out anything from Graber and Daly? Not a thing. They denied they ever used the ray gun or that they have anything to do with the planned invasion from the moon. But you can testify that you've seen them using the ray gun. I could, but I'm not going to. What? My testimony could convict them, but what good would it do? They're just hired thugs. And whoever is boss of the show could easily hire someone else to operate the ray guns. But it's ridiculous to turn those murderers loose. I know it looks that way, but it's the only way to locate their headquarters and perhaps smash the whole gang. How do you figure that? Well, I've instructed the police to release them and trail them until they leave town. Then they'll radio me and I'll take over. Still can't figure out how we got out of this so easy. Yeah, did seem kind of phony. There's a car back there and it might be tailing us. Do we run for it? Not yet. Take it easy till we make sure he's after us. Calling Commander Cody. Calling Commander Cody. This is Commander Cody. Come in. Your men are headed out of town on highway number 19. They are driving at a moderate rate of speed. They should pass the city limits in about five minutes. I'll get out there right away. Well, I hope it works. Good luck. You sure you won't need me? No, Ted, but thanks anyway. The 
car turned off, so I guess it wasn't following us. Head for the cave. Right. understand why they let you off so easy. But it's very fortunate you came back when you did. Rettig has arrived. He came down in his personal rocket ship. He landed it in the cave in the east side of the old Mount Henry mine. I just spoke to him by radio. He wants us to arrange for four more trucks and eight men to operate the ray guns he brought with him. Okay. We'll go to town and get them. Those hands higher.
finished. So what do we do now? This is Retic, ruler of the moon. You will carry out Krog's orders. Get the men and the trucks necessary to operate my ray guns and bring them here at once. There was enough metal in my flying suit to partially ground the current, so I was only knocked out. But the other man was killed instantly. From what you've told us, he must have been the leader of the moon forces here. I think so. But now that Reddick is on Earth, he'll take command. And if Graber and Daly carry out their orders, he'll soon have a strong force of men and ray guns. Then we must capture him before he can get organized. If he has ray guns there, it won't be easy. No, but at least we can get the ray gun in Krog's cave and use it ourselves. I'll arrange to have it picked up at once. If you will have it mounted on a truck, it can be taken directly from there to the mine. Ted and I will go out and scout around so we can move in on them as soon as the ray gun gets there. I'll get it to you as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Do you know exactly where the Mount Henry mine is? Yes, it's an old abandoned one. It has two entrances and... Uh... Cody Laboratory. Yes, he's here. Hello? This is the bartender at Al's Cafe, Mr. Cody. Yes? Those two men you asked me to watch for just came in. They're talking to some other fellas. Looks like they're trying to work up a deal. We'll be right down. Graber and Daly are at Al's Cafe. We have time to pick them up and still get to the mine before the truck. their car, all right. Get to your feet. Search.
chance of getting them out of that. No. Let's go after Reddick. Everything all right? Seems to be. But we were delayed getting here, and I don't know what the setup is in the mind. So you stay here with the gun while we do some scouting. Yes, sir. Should be here by now. Go out to the mine entrance and see if there's any sign of them. Yes, sir. Take a look inside. Reddick's dead. We feel sure there's no immediate danger of an enemy invasion from the moon. And we'll have time to build an adequate defense. Will you want us to make another trip to the moon to see what's going on? I don't think so. Now that the moon men's attack has failed, we can make the whole story public and the military authorities can take charge. But we will need more of your rocket ships, Commando. So I suggest you make plans for going into their manufacture on a large scale. Before we get started on ships using regular rocket fuel, let's do some experimenting with atomic power from Lunarium. That might be pretty hard to control. No, I've got it all figured out. Now stand back, please. <clears throat> Look, by setting the controls on this model rocket, I can make it slowly circle the room and come right back. Watch. <clears throat> Here we go. I thought you said it was going to slowly circle the room and come back. At least it did come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 